Phil. Well, two drives, space to play. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody please bow their heads for quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for the weather we've been having. Thank you for the people in this room. Please watch over the actions of this board as we work for this community. Try to make it a better place. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs> All right. Uh, reading and approval of minutes from the October 18th meeting. Motion to approve and suspend. And motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Hack. Discussion. All in favor of these minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 Thank you. Is that? I hope not. <laughs> Approval of the agenda. Any changes, additions, corrections? Motion to approve. And motion by Hack to approve the agenda. <clears throat> Second. Second by Stern. All in favor of the agenda say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> All right. Agenda is set. 5A, engineer's report. Uh, Jared's not with us. Um, he did send a report that I wish he have received. And <coughs> there's nothing really on here much either that we need to take action on. No, like he noted in there, there are, they're not asking for any approvals at this meeting. They'll have a few things at the mid-month meeting on the 15th. Okay. And they have suspended the construction meetings. The Tuesday morning meetings. The Tuesday morning meetings because yes. of the lack of work. And the road is cut in up there. Yes. The service road. Is, <coughs> and the gates are installed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on then to 5B, Expedition Estate Special Assessments. Dan, can you hear me all right? Yep. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, as presented by, or as requested by Williams Builders, this the repairs on Expedition Estates for those streets were, are being assessed to the vacant properties. They're not assessing them to the properties that they've sold. So the Special Assessment Commission did meet yesterday and go through and approve the certification for the special assessment list. Uh, as discussed earlier and in the draft that I sent out, I am proposing that we assess a quarter percent interest and I made these payable over five years. They didn't really make any statements as to the time frame they were requesting to have to pay these. Obviously they can pay them off immediately without any interest or after January 1, they'll start accruing the interest at that 0.25%. As indicated in the notes, had these funds been in our account, we'd have been earning 0.10% over the last year. So. All right, any questions from Monty? No. Okay. All right, then if we um, want to move forward with this, then we need to do a motion. So moved. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Roll call. Wolf. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hack. Aye. Peller. Aye. Hovenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. This will be certified then for collection after January 1. Okay. <clears throat> 6A, free reduced hall rent for Lions benefit. 
benefit for November 14th for, the, for Rainy Harn, Sonny Brennan for Rainy Harn through the Hayes and Lions Club. Again, so motion, to approve. motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Hack. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Thank you. <coughs> All right, moving down to eight. Eight A. Um, we have two condemnation um, items on the agenda. And the first one is for 310 Fourth Avenue Northwest. And I believe you were here for that. So uh, the last time we met, we kind of left it up to the homeowner to <coughs> come back to us with a um, suggestion of what the plan is. Um, and uh, so let's go ahead and hear from you. Well, um, I wouldn't be able to do nothing to the winter on it because we're busy on our allows. But this spring, I would be planning on starting to do a knob on it. If that's all right with you guys. Um, the time frame when it start, I think that's in maybe four months, and you have it up to where I can have it ready to sell. So if that's okay with you guys, but I, I, I would not be able to start on it this winter. We have our other house in front of the all the family model. We have two two problems, so we're just trying to get this one all situated first, and then the day after this winter, I'd be able to get on it. So let's say April. I think it was April, April, May, the latest we can start on it. Yeah, can you hear this report? Uh, a little, little mixed. Okay. I'm looking at, I'm looking at Mr. Wheat's uh, report here. Okay. The homeowner just said that he would not be able to work on it for about four months. And then he would be able to try to get to it and wants to get it up for, uh, fix it up well enough to sell it. Um, what kind of time frame are we looking at once he's able to get to it? About four months, I guess. You, you think you'll get to it within four months? And how long will it take you to do the work? Yeah, about four, four months. I'm what is your, can you, what's your plan on, on is, that the, is that the service, electrical service right there? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Our inspector still recommends condemnation to the home because it's in pretty, it's in yeah, bad shape. If that's if that's if that's what's going to happen, then I mean it's up to you guys. But uh, we'll have to do that too. But I will be able to come that immediately. But. I'll add. Did you get a copy of all the all I, problems that he saw. No, I, I mean, agree. like the basement walls are bulging. Yeah, he says you have to lift the house and repair them. What? Yeah. Is the house? <laughs> worth it? Nah, probably not. <laughs> and I can't say it, if it's worth it or not because it's your house, but it, there's a lot of time and money will be spent. Yeah. On trying to get it up to code where somebody could live in it. Yes. <clears throat> I, I don't know if you can. We've got to be awfully spendy. Yeah. And which is fine too, we're prepared either way. But in the case of it, if it does have to be demoed, I would ask if it would be all right if I do that this spring also. Um, yeah, it's just we're so busy right now. Okay. Dan, I'm not sure if you heard. Hey, no. I think if we move forward here, we're going to be establishing some time frame targets. And frankly, because of what I, I, I would consider the generosity of the board here if we were to move forward with this here, if targets and stuff are not met, there may be money spent in it and we're still looking at a condemnation. The homeowner did, Dan, I'm not sure if you heard the homeowner, uh, and <coughs> if I'm not wrong, I'm going to relay this to Dan. Yeah, the homeowner did say that, you know, if, if, they, if we do recommend condemnation and it has to be torn down, he would not be able to do it until this spring, uh, just due to, to his own personal timelines right now. The tear down? 
Correct. Yeah. But I agree with what you said prior to that. Maybe maybe it would be worthwhile, uh, Monty, if you want to share what the cost was for demolition on another home in the, the community. You know, to, to do that on your own is, I think, a huge undertaking, uh, probably as much of an undertaking as the trying to renovate the place. I have all the equipment. Yeah, he does. He he does have the equipment. He's got the machinery. Okay. To do it. Does anybody want uh, the Mr. Weiss report read? Okay. okay. All right. And you did get a copy? I did not. You got it. I did. I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. I did just a few houses north of this place. And what I would ask as living in a neighborhood is if he does, if you guys decide to let him do whatever and hold it over till spring, to secure the house. I mean, there's a board across the street, screen door on the west side. And I don't know, I've never been in a lot, but you know, we got a lot of kids, little kids that run around and whatnot. Even if he, even if you just kind of trimmed out the grass in the front or something there. I mean, it, it looks like it belongs in a Halloween zone, but. Uh, okay, thank you. <clears throat> that was from a, Dan, that, that was given by a neighbor uh, in, uh, to this, in this area. That last little comment, I yep. heard it. Um, okay, so we've seen, we've seen the report, we've seen the photos, we've heard from the landowner, I guess. Which direction are we leading as a board? I would like to see condemnation, but giving him time till like June to get it torn down. June, it, June one. Yeah, to get it torn down because it's it needs to be, and I mean it's a very hard June one. Um, some of them we've been letting them run for a while, and I'd like to see them go as quickly as the last one went. Okay. That a motion? I will make that a motion. A motion by Wolf. I will second that. Second by Pillar. Discussion? I guess I'd just like to say that. I mean, I'd like to see it gone sooner than that. I mean, it seems like every time that we move this stuff out, you know, for for any, I guess, amount of time, it just keeps on, you know, getting getting, I guess, moved down and moved out all the time. But okay. And I'm only saying June, so I give some time from like April to get it torn down. But I mean, like a really firm June. If it's not done, we do it. No questions asked. And then we go. Once, once I get in there, it, it'll be I'll be done. It'll be done. Yeah. I have all the equipment. I, have I mean, if you can get it to before to to it before June, it would be great. Yeah. Because a lot of them. Yeah. And, and I I'll try. I, I mean, there it is times I you know some time that we get an open spot, but even through this winter, if I if I have some time where things are slow, I can I can have to get in there and just right now. I uh, we're so scheduled so busy and stuff so. Okay. Monty. Do we need do we need to add anything to this motion that that uh, includes your follow up comments, Nancy? Which follow up? Well, that's tearing down probably. That if it's not done oh. by this hard date, that the uh, oh that was included the in the motion. That started the hard date of June first. She is including that down. Okay, very good. Security. You want to include security on that or anything like that? What's what's unsecured right now? Do we? No. 
Is it complicated? I know you said it means you, there's a board over the door now. The board is this. I, the board is there. With the <coughs> I have the board there so I can drive by and see if anybody's been there. The back is all secured and locked. The board is there so I, I then I'll know if somebody's been in there or not. You say did anybody can tear it off for the hands, but if somebody tears it off for the hands, then I know somebody's been in there. Yeah. That's what the board's crossed for. Yeah. But uh, the back is all secured. Everything is locked. Okay. So no kids can't get in the building. No. Is that the garage as well, or the garage? No, the garage door can't be lifted. Yeah, I'll, I will get that. I can get that. Okay. Started. All right. Thank you. Yeah. We have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Monty got the second. Or the motion. All right. Um, roll call. Well, Aye. Helen. Aye. Hat. Aye. Stern? Aye. Open hour. Aye. Motion carried. Well, we appreciate you being here and thank you for okay. getting to it when you, as soon as you can. Yep. And you heard we do have a hard date of June 1 and it's not met by then. We'll do it. We'll have it torn down and we'll bill you. So it'll probably be cheaper to do yourself. Yeah. So, okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eight B, uh, one hundred four Fourth Street Northeast condemnation. Uh, that's the duplex across the street from the uh, the high school. Well, right beside the uh, one, the house that was just torn down recently. The Parisian, the Parisian house, yes. Eight just looking in. Uh, Lauren was unable to get into the building, but you can see some of the issues just looking in as far as mold issues. Um, the floor paint is peeling off of that. There was this one. You can see the floor is actually bulged because of <coughs> the moisture and everything. Lauren, in his report, basically said he had the furnace is well beyond design life and needs replacement. The electrical is more than likely original. So he is recommending condemnation. If approved, I would set up, create the notice, notify the property owner, and then set a hearing for them to appear. Okay. Motion to approve the start of the condemnation process. Second. Motion by Hack, second by Wolf. Discussion. So we'll give this property owner the same opportunity as gave this gentleman here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. back She'll be notified of the report and <coughs> supplied the pictures that we have and sure. asked to appear and explain why it shouldn't be condemned. Do we want to ask her to, to let Lauren in? I can put that in the notice, okay. you know, that if possible, we'd like the inspector to get inside and take a look at it. And yeah. that, will be, that way they'll be aware of what's going on. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Roll call. Hack. Aye. No. Aye. Heller. Aye. Stern. Aye. Open hour. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. All right. Reports. Water sewer. Nothing to report at this time. Streets. Cemetery. So when we got to report is we had a, a very cheap fix on our case loader. You know, a couple bucks for a electrical fitting. Mm -hmm. I was going to play it up, but I figured, no, I better not. <laughs> it's up and running. You can a little bit because of mobilization. mobilization. Well, yeah, we're going, to, we're going to get hit with mobilization on a $2 or $3 part. But other than that, it's okay. up and running again. Good. So. Still sweeping leaves and... Yep. Yeah. Grabbing a few trees. 
some of the nuisance ones that are hanging over that would get hit with the lower level blading this winter if we get snow. So, yeah, we're pretty well ready. Okay. Well, I can report I had a resident comment on her. They were happy to see the purchase and that it's working good. The uh, blade on the back of the tractor mm -hmm. doing well on one of our gravel road streets up north. So he caught me at an event the other night. So. That was next year? Yes. That's all I have. Okay. <clears throat> Finance Busting Library. Oh, they think. Okay. Nancy, please fire. Nothing at this time. Okay, Buster HCD. All right, well, um, it's been busy. We have, it's been busy, yeah. And we're still plugging away on the cold stuff. We haven't submitted, uh, we haven't submitted the uh, infrastructure one yet for the pipeline gas. I guess that's on a rolling uh, deadline date, but that will be going in, I think, reasonably soon now. And, uh, people that are working on that are, are uh, going to probably get that squared away fairly soon. Uh, we had a uh, interesting and good conversation, I think, with the head of the Department of Commerce, James Lehman, and uh, one of the other gentlemen that handled the financial picture <coughs> the other day and uh, talked about you know what can we do uh, what can we do for coal country in terms of some of the stuff that we're looking at uh, in the future um, so one of the things uh, there's a there are a number of things that we discussed uh, potential projects you know but uh, one of the things that we talked about is the fact that he felt that what we need to be doing is probably meeting monthly so that everybody is kind of more up to speed in terms of what's happening here around our area in coal country. Because you know we we do have a big energy sector here. You probably saw or heard uh, we were hoping that the, the proposal for upper money uh, and the gas line was going to come down 200. Uh, you probably saw that that's not the case at least as of yet, that's not the case. The governor's proposal was to run that down Highway 200, all the way from the Bakken to Grand Forks and then south to Fargo. A uh, couple. No, uh, down, down Highway 2. Highway 2, excuse me, I said 200. <laughs> highway 2. Uh, uh, we're still, uh, we did emphasize how important we felt it would be if we could get gas coming down 200. Um, one of the things that we did find out is this. Uh, we thought that there would be an opportunity to tap into the line at DGC. Uh, where in the past, you know, they talked about the fact that we can't do that because of some regulations. Well, uh, that isn't going to happen in the near future, at least until if and when, if that plan changes hands because they, there's no way that they would allow some of that to happen now uh, in the interim without. Uh, and of course, if that was the case, we would have looked at tapping in at uh, ZAP, which would have really reduced some of those costs. So we're just going to keep plugging away. There also is, if there, we still had some of the conversation about trying to maybe work with Marathon and uh, get some of that flaring, capture some of that flaring up in the Twin Buttes area and the possibility of maybe the translocation getting sold and then turning it into a mini uh, gas plant, natural gas plant, and then providing gas our way after that. But that's, uh, that of course would be a long time. Kind of wishful thinking, but possibility because uh, it doesn't look like, uh, you know, uh, Marathon or whomever is, uh, they want to put a processing plant uh, over in this section of Mercer County. So, and someone told me the other day that they actually drilled a wall, a well, mm -hmm. 
in Western Mercer, but you know, I didn't uh, dig deep enough. I don't know if it was for uh, oil, looking for oil, or if it was uh, CO2, you know? Uh, so, and then of course, you know, the carbon capture thing is, is big, you know? Uh, and uh, Jerry and I, we were at a Cole County Conversion meeting the other night, lots of good presenters, uh, listened to about five or six different folks, Lieutenant Governor uh, Randy Christman, uh, and our, our legislative group that was there, so um, we got to keep kind of the pedal to the metal, hopefully. Hopefully we can get some things still rolling in our area here. Um, you know that um, tourism grant hasn't been submitted as of yet, and then that infrastructure grant and um, I think I might have reported previously that the tourism grant even though that was a hundred million our share is going to be two and then I did I know I did mention on the uh, coal coal communities that was a 200 million grant and uh, our share up in this area was five so so those numbers dwindle uh, quite a bit for those things are at. So, but yeah, it's been busy. So, questions? Thanks, Buster. Yeah. So, I, I, I did send out that agenda. You guys did see the email I sent with two adult speakers. So, I just got minutes today from uh, Steve Probar. I should have sent those. You guys, did you get all those? Did you send those to everybody, Monty? Okay. You should read through that. It's, you know, the meeting was three and a half hours long that night. But in a five-minute read, you can kind of get a condensed version of what happened. And if you didn't uh, read it, you know, one of the biggest takeaways when Otter Tail Power was there speaking about the Kyle Power Plant, you know, they're one of four owners in that facility, and they own 35%. And, you know, they're looking at getting out by 2028, which is also coincides with the regional haze date going into effect. Um, they are looking for a buyer for their 35 percent. They don't want to see the plant close, um, but <coughs> it's going to be hard to find a buyer for that 35 percent for that those megawatts to be continued to be generated at the facility. So, and they, it, it does not it does not qualify for uh, becoming a CO2 sequestration facility. Is that right, Buster? Is that right? Yeah. 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 That and then when the lady from Base Electric spoke, Basic. that was kind of a little bit more, it kind of felt like it hit hard as well to our community that, you know, Leland Old Station, that's a 65 year old uh, location. And that, you know, they're, they're going to be making some hard decisions on Leland Old soon, she said. Um, but just by her emphasizing the age of that facility makes you think that that may be a, one of their portfolio, portfolio um, assets that may not be continued as we all know anyhow. So anyhow, it was a quite a meeting, a lot of great uh, discussion. The guy from EERC from Grand Forks, UND, probably the smartest guy I've heard talking about in a long time. But there is a lot of interesting information that and research that's happening at UND um, on how to use still use coal and other aspects. Right. One of the things that we talked about with the with the commerce folks is is the carbon, you know, the military that that could be a potential avenue for the carbon. Uh, is the is the uh, on the military side of things, you know, Department of Transfer or Defense, mm -hmm. possibly. So, I mean, uh, yeah, Grand Forks has they've identified all of those trace minerals of, that we could get out of there, and there's a number of them that. But it's a matter of again, uh, you know, trying to get the right uh, the right mix of uh, folks coming out this direction. Yeah. Okay, let's move down to 10. 10 A of hometown salute of volunteers section. Um, Gaze and Stars, uh, 
recognizing local volunteers. The paper wants to know if we want to partake in a ad. Monty, what have we done in the past for this? I didn't find any record of this. We've done tabs like this before, I know. I don't know what, but uh, this is this itself is, is new. No, it hasn't done it. Generally, we would do the quarter page or less. Yeah, what would the board like to do with anything? Both to do a quarter page on a full color. Okay, motion by Stern, and that's the. Uh, Second that. 225. Second by pillar. Discussion. Roll call. Stern. Aye. Pillar. Aye. Hack. Aye. Wolf. Aye. Wolf an hour. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, 11A. Temporary COVID personnel policy. This was presented couple meetings ago, actually. Uh, I had no comments from the staff or recommendations from the staff. I believe Pat was, he thought it was okay. <laughs> Show me a great one, I guess. I don't know. I don't think there is one. No, I don't think there is one either. Okay, so we want to, Put this into action, then we need a motion to. I was hoping to get some feedback from our staff. I heard from what the office ladies, and they, they liked what we we're doing. That's all I heard. So moved. Motion by Wolf to institute the temporary COVID 19 personnel policy. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. So I guess. Casey. I guess what's the timeline on this? It's just, I guess, a temporary the timeline. That basically, I'll tell you. So until we lift it or pull it? Okay. Yeah. Lift it. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. Roll call. Roll. Well, Aye. Stern. Aye. Hack. Aye. Pillar. Aye. Open hour. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. All right. Moving down to uh, 11B, the water service insulation project invoicing. I have prepared the invoices for all of those whose water services were insulated on Bluegrass Lane, following along with the costs as submitted by Bowers Excavating. Uh, as indicated in my notes, my only question was, are you putting a time frame on these? Uh, if it's not paid by next October, does it go on the specials? Again, these were funds that we were holding in our, in our regular budget, so Did you want to wait to send these to see what the weather does, if it actually is working? Not that it matters because we did it anyway. I think, I think we had set the expectations when we had the discussion that there would be billing on this. We, we couldn't give a 100% guarantee that we were going to move forward because this was meeting all of the best engineering practices. And I guess I I was always under the impression that we were going to do it just like any other assessment in that they would have opportunities to have that put onto their taxes or pay it up for a fund. I think there was also discussion that they could make <clears throat> payments and that's why you're saying till October of next year. That was my thought. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was my <clears throat> understanding with the discussion was that they could pay it from now through October of next year, and if not, then it goes on their um, specials. specials. Yeah. That's I'm cool. comfortable with that. That's what I was yeah. recollecting to do, I guess. So. 
Yeah. And this is the full. This is everything you said. Bowers is that yes. that was twenty thousand, twenty thousand three ten. Yes. And what was quoted to the residents is correct on the invoice. Correct in here. They included the additional stuff for Mr. Smith doing the extra service line. Yep. And then the correction was made on the Oaklands as initially it was done from the west side when it was actually on the north side. Theirs was higher than most of the other ones because of the concrete driveway removal. Work. On Smith's, which one was the additional? The garage? That was. There's one of them. Well, they're both the same, basically. I'm sorry, I was looking at Oakland's. There's two different ones at Oakland's. Yeah. See, the one at Oakland's, the higher one is because of the removals of the driveway when they had to cut out the driveway and do all of that. So that's why theirs was higher for those basically 20 linear feet. Okay. And all the concrete works, everything's done up there as well? Everything is done up there, yes. Okay, we have a motion and we have a second. Any more discussion? No. No? no we don't have a motion? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we're still discussing. So we're just making a motion to send these bills out? Yes, and then I will draft a letter informing them that they'll have until October 1st of 2022 and the payment or it will be assessed at our special. So moved. Okay, motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Hack. Discussion. <coughs> and I remember our discussion of paying part of this. We we chose not to help pay. The city wasn't paying part of this. The city did the concrete repairs of the curbs and the driveway. Any more discussion? That's what we did. We we paid the asphalt repairs, correct? Correct. Roll call. Wolf. Aye. Hack. Aye. Hiller. Aye. Stern. Aye. Home hour. Aye. Motion carried. Approve the bill. Motion to approve. Okay. Motion by Wolf. Second. Second by turn. On the bills, I am including these transfers unless there's objection. Uh, transferring from the police vehicle special fund for the purchase of the vehicle plus a bunch of the equipment. And then from the general equipment reserved for the graphics and the new in-car camera system. And then the other ones will be annual for, from the sales tax fund. To reduce the specials on those two projects, which we approved previously, because when we set those projects up, we were paying down 10% yeah. from the sales tax fund, and that represents the 10% for this year on those bonds. I can't see the totals on those. Can you read those to me? I'm sorry. Uh, from the police vehicle fund, we'll be transferring $43,200. From the equip general equipment fund, we'll be transferring $10,651. And we'll be transferring $38,526 from the sales tax fund into those special assessment funds. Motion to approve. Can't motion by half. We already have a motion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you use that one for that? That's in, in addition, right? No, it was included on the agenda as a certain transfer. Okay, we have motion. We have a second. Yes. Roll call. Roll. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hack. Aye. Teller. Aye. Open hour. Aye. Motion carried. Any adjourned?